Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Welcome back. Welcome everyone. It's another boiling hot day, so we're back inside, um, cracking on with the old corral. Um, Andy finished that wall if you saw the last video. Just got um, this one to do. This one's left Next. to do. I'm on with the beams, so let's crack on. For anyone that's new to the channel, um, all these walls were all covered in old plaster and stuff. We've stripped them all off, cleaned them up. Um, done the rest, just this one to do. Of course I need to move all this stuff. I'm going to be building a cabinet over here um, to house it all, but we need to get the ceiling, the ceiling needs oiling, it needs whitewashing between the beams before I start finishing worktops and building more cabinets and stuff. So I need to clear this lot off, find a home for it, and my two, my two assistants here. <laughs> yeah, she's not very much help, are you? So the area clear, apart from Bar Bar, um, Bar Bar is a real life fridge magnet, <laughs> seriously, um, we'll have to move you won't we? First thing, get the wire brush, we knocked it all off with the big hammer, um, then we did the little stuff, the small stuff with the, the raking out in between with an air hammer, there's still a little bit left on the surface so we're going to take a wire brush, get to work on it, get them as clean as we can. There we go, as you can imagine, that didn't take long. Um, next thing to do is get the vacuum out, give it all a good clean up, clean out all the joints again, make sure we get as clean as we can anyway. very warm work up here as you can imagine, heat rises and all that and it's so time consuming with my little brush trying to cut in here so I don't get it all over the ceiling even though the ceiling's got to be painted yet um, but prevention is better than cure so but it takes forever as you can see Right, so we're off. I've got my bucket of mortar. I've got a bucket of snow. <laughs> we did have a cat out the window supervising, but it's gone. I wet it all down, um, just in case of sticking it in. I'm using a four to one um, sand and lime mix that we always use inside. We use a slightly different sand outside, a slightly coarser one, but um, we like this one for inside. So let's crack on, get it. Um, I'll get some more done. <laughs> so I'm coming along, I've done that side of the window. Sharon's chasing me quickly, he's working up the beams. Done all that side, done the top, done the bottom, done the inside that reveal. Started rebuilding this reveal because it's pretty poor. And um, five beams to go after that one, five and a half. <laughs> but now it's time for a nice cold beer. It's, it's too hot to be doing it's too much. Is. We're taking it easy, we don't want to kill ourselves, we want to try and enjoy this house and the build. <laughs> so, um, we'll be back in the morning. So it's another morning. Um, we're on with this side. Um, as you can see, there's lots of big sort of fist sized holes lots of gaps that I'm going to need to fill in um, it's not going to be plain sailing this um, plus we're short of time today as well because we've got to take Bruce back to the vet 
um, this afternoon and we need to go and pick up some building materials, sand and lime and things. Um, what's the date today? 29th of July. Spain actually shuts down um, in August pretty much from the end of July until well the first week or so in September, first week and a half in September maybe. Everyone goes on holiday. Um, so that means we need to make sure we've got enough stuff in, in ready, especially sand and lime because we get that from a local place which will be shut. Um, a lot of the other stuff comes from one of the bigger stores and they're open right through. Um, so um, yeah I'm just going to do what I can, same again, wet it all down and get a mix on and um, plod on filling these big holes in and try and make it look beautiful and of course put it back to being strong again. Now I'm just figuring out how to tackle this. I'm going to put this big one in there first, I've just wet it down um, because I think I'm going to need to put some smaller ones around it. I've got this piece of um, marble, lovely. It should sit in there nicely, but I'll need to put some others around it um, because that's on a big slope. I don't know if you can make that out. I want to get him sort of semi-set um, before I start putting infills around it. Um, Shannon's popped into town. Um, got some urgent documents to post. Um, post office shuts early because they only open half a day. And of course it's fiesta time. The fiesta week has started. The holidays have started. Everywhere is closed. Um, nowhere to park. You can't get anywhere. So she may be some time. Um, but in the meantime, let's carry on and get this in. I've got a slightly sloppy mix. Um, because I want it to stick. You can't just stick stones to ceilings upside down if you mix it right. And then get him in there. Just like that. Lovely. Stick a bit in. In there. We'll point him all up properly when it's done. And then I'm going to go up to the top and start working my way down. By the time I get down to him, he should be reasonably, reasonably set there. I've got some big holes here. I'm going to have to put a few small stones in. Got a few selected. One in the corner there as well to build up that reveal. Yeah, it's going to take a while. It's interesting though, watching it transform from being um, well, a rubble <laughs> to a functioning beautiful stone wall again. Didn't have to realise how bad this wall was. Um, lots of holes in it. That's the first one that I put in. And just after, you know, not long I've been able to get this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, and that one in all around it. Um, put all these in up here. I've done down this reveal, filled those in, put some stones in the corners there. Got a couple started in here. Um, yeah, so it didn't go very far that mix, not in terms of distance anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll let them, we'll leave that to just go off a little bit, get another mix on and then we can probably just start pointing it up. Now I think I've got most of them. I'm gonna to need to go and collect a few more small stones just in case. So this is taking quite a long time. Um, I'm down to here, thereabouts. Um, the stone I first put in is that one. Built it all up around it, it's looking all right. Um, where I'm gonna get it finished today, I don't know, because now we've gotta to go to the vets with young Bruce. Well, we're just from back from the vets. I've not left the dogs out because it's really hot, so they've gone back in the shade now. Um, just more of the same, really. Another oh, session so of chaos. Yeah, another closed town's closed. A, another session of heat treatment for Brucey. Um, <laughs> we'll see. He can have up to four, and then if not, have his ears cut off, which I don't want to happen. But we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah absolute them. chaos. Yeah, I've, twice yeah. I've been in town this morning. I had to go to the post office this morning because <laughs> of important documentation, and it took me two hours. 
oh, um, to get yeah. there and back. Um, all the streets are closed. It's the local fiesta this week. Started last night. The whole of Panosso is closed. Um, yeah, absolute nightmare. And we thought, trying to kill two birds with one stone, the, the builder's merchant isn't far from the vet, so we thought, ah, we'll get some yes. lime and sand while we're there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. Of course, because it's a, an estate car, don't know what you call them in other parts of the world, the dogs go in the bit at the back, don't they? Yes. The boot, the trunk, the big bit. Yep. Um, There's no room for the bags of sand and cement. Because we have a lot of tools and stuff that we carry around and that, and they're all on the back seat. So yeah. we had to abandon that. But we think we've got enough. We've only got this bottom bit to do. And um, around the, the big stones at the bottom that I showed you the other day. Um, so we should hopefully have enough. Um, we've got, we do have other opportunities to go, but yeah, that's like plans. And anyway. of course the Builders Merchant will close for two weeks as everything does in Spain in August. Uh, sometimes they close for a whole month but he's only closing for two weeks so we'll go at some point before that. I think it's the 15th <laughs> or something he closes. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Another mix. Get on with it. So we're relentlessly pressing on. Sharon's back on the beams. I've got yet another bucket of stones and yet another mix. Um, I want to see if I can get this finished today. Because um, we've got a treat in store for ourselves tomorrow, haven't we? We think maybe. We have, we have. We shall go into in a bit. <laughs> Get my gloves on and carry on. Right, it's an epic fail again today. Um, we've only got down to here. Um, so many stones going and uses up so much mortar, but we're not doing another mix. Sharon's got one of the beams done. It's, it's not that it's hot in here, it actually stays quite cool. But it is so humid, we're actually dripping off us. Um, so, but tomorrow we've got a, we've got a plan. Um, we're going to actually try smoking a joint of lamb on the smoker while we're working. <laughs> we've never done that before. Obviously, we've smoked things on it before. But we thought, you know, how nice we can get it on, get it going, keep having an eye on it, keep getting bits done, and then have a lovely piece of lamb at the end of the day. Um, so, that's what we're going to do. First off, I need to get some um, a load of wood prepared though. It is so humid today. It is so unusual for this area. We're usually quite um, not humid, <laughs> which of course it's a lot cooler. It's around 34 degrees, but it feels hotter today than it did when it was 40. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow's not going to be as humid and um, we can smoke our lamb all right. We like to use almond it's our own almond that we harvested well from our neighbors trees all around us every year they get rid of the the dead ones the old ones and um we like to use cut split them up into splits like that make for a great fire with some thin ones to start it um wrong one <laughs> um old woods being different we find that almond splits really easily when it's well seasoned like that some woods don't split at all when they're well seasoned so I got these split up and um, we're ready to cook tomorrow that is so the trusty old smoker um, barbecue, smoker cube. Um, those that you saw when I made this, I didn't actually take the paint off it, um, just as a bit of a up, mini update. Um, the reason I didn't was because we've got a, a log burner upstairs, um, which is exactly the same gas bulb, which we left the paint on, or half of it, never blistered. This is um, a propane cylinder also, still got the paint on it, and we've had this glowing red hot. Um, got it that hot, paint never came off it. But this one, you got a fire going inside it, and the original paint blistered off. As you can see, the heat paint that I painted it with is still on where there was no paint underneath. We will lose bolt and fix that. Um, so, it's probably worth if you're going to make one, light a big fire inside it first when you get it to a certain point and um, to burn off any of the paint off scrape it off with a grinder but we're not bothered we can't let the rusted look it's gone, got quite a nice patina to it and um and it works which is what's most important 
In the meantime, we're back in position. Um, get this wall finished, get this pointing finished off. In this room at least, only another six or seven to go. Um, but at least there'll be another one ticked off. Um, I've just got this bit at the bottom to do. Um, and then, yeah, we're looking pretty good there. Got a bucket of stones as always. You can see that. My hammer to knock them in. And my mortar. And I've forgotten to spray it down. So I'm just going to wet it down and carry on. Right, another momentous occasion. It's done. The wall's done. It's done. Um, I've got a bit of mix left over, quite a lot actually, so I'm going to start working my way around this bottom of the floor here. Got an awkward little. These big stones came out of the bodega, they what they used the barrels used to stand on, and we put them in to make this floor. But I need to, I've got a bit of an awkward gap there. I need to try and fill. And uh, so I'm just going to carry on working my way along until it's gone, and then reassess. Alright that's pretty good, um, that mix has done me all the way along the front here um, I now need to find, make, I just made that one um, to fill in this bit here, keep working our way along. That's Jessie. What? What's the matter? Why? You can't go outside. Jessie's coming to check on us, see how we're doing, shouting the odds. What do you want? She's got all the courtyard and she wants to go outside the front door and she's not allowed. Are you Jess? And back to the task in hand. She's having some biscuits. <laughs> um, got a few pieces made, cut um, for the floor. I'm going to do the mix now and get them in and see where that leads us. In the meantime, Sharon's back on the beans. I am. We'll be so glad when this is done. I mean, it feels like weeks and weeks of pointing now. Um, it'll be nice to do something different. It is quite therapeutic, but it will be nice to do something different. Um, probably the same for Sharon with the oil. Absolutely. <laughs> Even my brush is worn out. Oh, So the final pieces of the puzzle are in, that makes things not far at all. I've got enough sand, remember we said earlier we should have enough. It's touching, I've got one mix left, one mix worth left. I'm going to point all these up, point all these in, and then do under these along there. I've put the stones and I've got another bucket full of stones. Um, it doesn't matter if we don't have enough, but it just would be nice to get it finished. And the beams are coming along, three left to go. There's a light at the end of your tunnel. Yeah. Blooming long tunnel. That's all I can say. Right, so this is it, the last mix. Here it is. See how far it goes. Um, we have some good news though. From tomorrow, we're supposed to be less humid, which will make conditions far more pleasant for us. Um, and get my gloves on, I'll crack on. Cool, let's see how far we can get. Well, a dismal failure. We've got this done, which if I do say so, it looks lovely. Right behind me, up to here. Um, and we're probably gonna need two more mixes for that. There's a little bit up the side of the fridge as well I need to do. But um, we can't do any more because we haven't got any sand. And we can't go and get any because it's Saturday and they're not open. <laughs> Welcome to Spain. So, but yeah, very, very happy with it so far, what it looks like, um, and it's nearly done. Well, we've not done bad today. Um, it's, uh, the next problem we've got is, 
it's a local fiesta here and um monday is it monday 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 we've just realized that Everywhere the shops are closed so we're guessing the builders merchants will also be closed yeah just what we need but we've still got plenty of other things to do if we can't get any sand yeah um we're not doing any more it's getting too hot anyway this time of the day and i've still got to edit this video and upload it ready for our patreon supporters who get early access to it tomorrow morning yeah, oh. and speaking of being too hot, we were going to do our lamb and show, oh, you, yes. show you the results of our smoker, um, but it's too hot at this time of the day to yes. have it going for one thing. We decided um, to delay it, haven't and we, a bit. to eat, um, you know, five, six o'clock, it's far too hot still. So we're going to delay that to the next exciting episode, so you have to tune in to see. Yes, we're still going <laughs> to do it. We're still going to do it, but it will be later and obviously not in this video. So if you want to see how the lamb turns out, as we do, because we've not done it before, <laughs> um, tune in to the next exciting episode. Yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Um, if you've made it this far, um, consider subscribing to the channel. Yeah. And thanks to all our Patreon supporters, all the people that bought us a beer or a coffee, and our YouTube channel members. We will see you on Thursday. Thursday.